back to our program, Hope in Christ. So, padayon na natin ang ginaistorya kayo na ni Pastor Mike sa ang ginatinan niya itong uh, the Youth Fellowship. So, ano natabo after that, Pastor Mike? Okay, so, Pastor, I was invited to get inside the church and that time I was wearing all black and all that stuff. Pagsulod ko dito, young people were crying out loud, you know, um, praying to God, praising God. Tapos, there's this guy right just in front of me, kanagtindog lang ko sa likod, sa door. And I was just mocking him. Nga saling ko, you're, you're crying before a God who will never listen, who doesn't love you anyway. Doon mo ko na bala. Then nakibot ka. Then the service, he was the first one na magpalapit sa ako. Nalina bala niya ko nga. Um, Brad, Jesus loves you. And during that time, siyempre allergy ko kay, di guwapa ko ya. Ang bulon mo ko ya, Brad. Doon mo na bala. <laughs> so, doon nang wala ko nag-response. Tapos ang uli, nagpagwa. Amo to then, it started nga, though may mga uneasiness na ko. And then this comes the that Australian missionary nga nagpalapit sa ako na. And then that's the process. Oh, okay. So that how it got started. Uh -oh. I see. So, nagabot kiman sa point yang uh, uh, personally, ikaw, you spoke to the Lord and said, Lord, my my heart is open. I want to accept you as my personal Savior when you speak to Jesus. Yes, during isang process na, Pastor June, um, di ba, na break na tong ako ng balya nga, nga it's all been paid for. Mm. Then, nag-start atong process. Then, I was uh, thrust inside the church. Nag-attend mm. ko youth camp. Mm. It was explained to me. For me, that time, ka-easy ka na sa akong magbaton because I already experienced the love. Uh -huh. And then, plus, above all, sang na-experience ko na ang peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm. Dito ko na-realize na I thought I had everything in the world mm. worth fighting for. Pero na-realize ko nga ang peace nga ni is far more precious than all that I had when I was in witchcraft. Uh -huh. The money, the control, the revenge, the, the powers, the nan. Uh -huh. Though hindi siya makapatas, sang sininga, peace uh -huh. that surpasses. Uh -huh. And then during that time, I really personally prayed to God, Lord, I just want this peace to remain in my life. Uh -huh. I just want it to last sa akong kabuhi. Kag, uh -huh. Dito ko nalaysa sa Lord, I'm willing to give up everything just for this peace to remain. Uh -huh. Though kaya ko, brado, Tanan tanan buyan ko Lord if this is what it takes for this peace to remain, I let go everything else. Sa dito ko din nagstart. I never thought nga deliverance ko na to gale. I burned my books, I burned my paraphernalia sa witchcraft, my my pentagram, my wand, my atame. Gimpang sunog ko, gimpang ako mismo na guba, Pastor. So, ikaw personally, can you recall in that journey na parang uh, Jesus dying on the cross for you, for our sins, really meant so much for you? Yes, because um, when I was growing in the Lord, uh, Pastor June, God would speak to me in verses, you mm -hmm. know, but there was one time I was praying to the Lord and I saw a vision. Mm -hmm. Ang vision nga ni, um, I was standing, mm -hmm. then may tiil, nga kag may tapi, and I knew that time that I was just in front of the cross. Uh -huh. And then, ang tiil, siyempre, dito gatubang, doari ko sa sideways. Uh -huh. Kakita ko yung, Pastor Jun, gagatulo. Until today, it's still fresh. Kita ko yung dugo, gagatulo mo. Uh -huh. And I slowly look up. Nakita ko, I didn't want to look up actually, pero nakita ko ganyan si Jesus. And I saw it, with all the, 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 the dugo, the mga, mga, wa, wa, mga pilas and all that stuff that you wouldn't even, no nga tawo sa blado kala nagwala wa then i was standing here tapos nagaamon didri na siya gatulok oh and then during that time i think sa sina nga vision ara ko he he acknowledged nga ara ko alam mo na ang feeling na you are all in pain tanan-tanan with all that pilas and all that pain and all that hurting sag tanan-tanan then ginpilit mo nga i-turn ginpilit niya iya turn iya head and then pagtulok sa ako he was really smiling na katamis-tamis nga smile nga you know Mike I love you this much o dito kit pastor da yung nagdoon sa akon nga daw naggurahan habi ko da yung turutudo nga ang message sa cross the bible that the cross that the bible talks about Jesus dying for us though naging totoo it says ako that even mag-abot gani ang mga mga moments sa akon life that 
luya ko, ang gakadula ang joy, may mga testings. Ma-flash lang yun siya, gulpi yan nga, then would remind me that Jesus loves me that much. So, kaka-strengthen ko, then I would cry na, Lord, wala gani ni ang akong ginagyan, compare sa imong ginagyan. Then you died for me, tapos hindi ko ni pagkanuguno ng ininga light because gusto ko nga may maya ka, I mean, you know, you know, it's just like, ginatag mo, gintagaan mo ko another life when in fact, I realized sang sa process nga na that distin na kuya sa hell, agi ka na daan, manugiwit ka pa, daw mo na pala pastor. And then by the grace of God, God loving me, saving me, cleansing me, and even right now, until today, ginabatas niya ko, ara siya nga mag-guide, patience, you know, faithfulness niya, until today, na-experiensyahan ko, sasya, It has really dawned on me ang inang experience about Jesus dying on the cross. Yeah, it's important nung sa kada person ma relate nya gid sa cross ang turning point sa iyang life. Yung from from sin bala turning back to God, it's really the cross of Christ that will remind the person how much God has loved. That, ano. So, anyway, uh, in the last few minutes, you, you, you yourself have experienced being reached out to by the love of Jesus Christ through people. So, right now, um, if, you can, if you can tell our audience, how do we reach out to the LGBT community? Based on your experience, what you have learned, ano sa palagay mo ang mga dapat natin tumdumun para i-reach out natin sila? Um, as far as I know, damo-damo na sila, Pastor, yeah, mga past hurts, way ito nakabalo kung di na sila nga background na galin, probably father nga sadistic father, probably absence of a father, probably wala family, probably nikasog sila, probably they were sexually abused, way kita kabalo sila. But all I know is, um, in one way or the other, may mga hurts na sila na nag-sum up. I don't know, kalain lain man, may araman niya nagambal nga they were born that way. I don't know. Pero sa ako niya personally, hurt, and then sometimes, kung kisa akong hurt kita, ginatabunan kita sa aton hurt, then we, again, we see through colored lenses. Pero sabla sa gindisappoint ng babae, nga feeling niya, tanang alaki, manuginto, when in fact, isa lang naginto saya. So, hurt na sila, and one way or the other, may mga colored lenses na sila. So, reaching out for them, una-una, gidya, of course, not just LGBT community, but to those hurting people, una-una, Gidja, is they need, they have to have an encounter of the love of God. They have to know that God loves them. They have to experience it. Sometimes, mabatian na natin, sometimes we know it with our mind, with our head, pero until it becomes an experience, wala na siya. So sa ako niya, I can say nga reality sa ako ng love sa God because I encountered it. That's why it is very important nga kita nga Christians reaching out for the lost, for the hurting, We should reach out for them. Kag ma ma pabatcha gid bala kaiti. Well, we quote First Corinthians four twenty that for the kingdom of God is not just in word but in power, in the demonstration of the Holy Spirit. So una una yah for them para makapalapit sila is they have to know that you can be trusted. That you are not the person who will hurt them. You are not the person who will judge them. You will not the person who will. You know, maayo ka lang kung may kinanglan ka. Amo na. So, you are there for them, loving them in spirit and in truth. You know, amo na, Pastor. So, kinanglan, i-reach out. You know na, we have to be there because God, because of God's unconditional love. Yes. You just love them. Pero, of course, we know kung di ng truth, kung where to stand. Pero, nevertheless, we are to love people which we are called for. Okay, yes. So, Uh, that's very important, very crucial, no? Uh, showing them love, reaching out to them in love. But we'll have a break again. Uh, when we come back, we'll have some parting words with you as we conclude this uh, topic about reaching out to the LGBT. We'll be back. Don't go away. <laughs> 